you get interested in part 15 unlicensed low power broadcasting well back when i was uh a very preteen i had built if you recall radio shack they had these these little kits with the uh oh the yes. perforated boxes called the p box kit I had built an AM wireless microphone, of all things, back when I was six or seven years old. And that kind of got me into modulating carriers. And by the time I got into my teens, I was lucky enough and fortunate enough that I got involved with uh, my local town's 330-watt uh, FM radio station, which had gone on the air six months prior to me joining. Wow. And so this was a commercial station? No, it was a non-commercial. It was located at our high school. Oh, wow. Okay. And so you were able to do broadcasting as a high school student, on, and that kind of you, you got the bug. I got the bug, and the funny thing was, when I got the bug, even though this was back in the days when AM radio was king, and you had all these superstar disc jockeys, I was so focused on the technical end that that was pretty much what I wanted to do. But of course, I got beaten up by every student saying, "If you're going to be involved, you have to be on the air too." So I was like, "Okay." And I'm I'm glad that I actually got that because I got to learn a lot more about the other side of radio thanks to being involved. 